Hey, hi, Dr. Goldberg here, uh, continuing our series on in infectious disease. Today we're going to talk about aspiration pneumonia. Aspiration pneumonia should divide up into three types of aspirations. Uh, number one, uh, we aspirate our secretions, and certainly our secretions can be infected with certain pathogens, uh, such as we can be colonized with pneumococcus, H flu, MCAT. We can have anaerobes, obviously. Uh, mouth anaerobes so that we can uh, aspirate as well, such as the Prevotella species or the Peptostreptococci species or the Fusobacterium species. So this is a very common cause of pneumonia, aspiration of secretions. Number two, uh, we can aspirate our vomit. That's much more serious because vomit does not want to be in the lung. The lung does not like vomit and does not like the uh, hydrochloric acid. Uh, therefore, there's a significant inflammatory component of this type of pneumonia and uh, sometimes associated with ARDS. And these patients will uh, generally benefit from the use of uh, steroid, uh, steroid therapy. Uh, the third aspiration that we uh, see is people who aspirate a foreign body, whether that be a big pen top, whether it be a piece of popcorn, a marble, whatever. Uh, they get a post-obstructive pneumonia. The same principle goes with uh, if, if patients have a proximal tumor in the bronchus and they get a post-obstructive pneumonia. These tend to be related to uh, mouth flora, but when they, once they get behind that obstruction, uh, the obstruction has to be relieved, otherwise the pneumonia will continue to fester and abscess formation will con will uh, develop. So the triple threat of aspiration pneumonia, number one secretions, number two vomit, and number three foreign body, don't forget it. Uh, aspiration pneumonias we classically treat with clindamycin or augmentin uh, as an outpatient. Inpatient we tend to go with uh, broader spectrum. We can use IV clindamycin but we'll tend to use uh, drugs like IV zosin or timentin or even uh, unison. Uh, in that setting, though other antibiotics are uh, also good, uh, but that's a start uh, for you. So thanks, Dr. Galbrig, signing off.